Hi, welcome back. I'm Allison. This is Wonder Crochet. If you're brand new here, I talk all things crochet, crafty, cute, fun. And today I thought it would be fun to do a little crochet challenge. You know I love a little challenge. Several months ago, or maybe even a year ago, I filmed a video, How Much Can I Crochet in One Hour? And if you watched that video, you know how chaotic it was. <laughs> But I got a lot of comments of you all wanting me to do longer challenges. Some people even said, how much can I crochet in 24 hours? I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> so today I'm going to do how much can I crochet in eight hours? So crocheting between the hours of nine to five. So like a normal work schedule. I'll be honest, I've never crocheted all day before, which might sound pretty strange since I own a crochet business. But the bulk of what I do is actually pattern designing. And I don't usually do markets or sell a lot of plushies. The ones that I do sell are ones that I have just already made. So this will be a fun challenge to just kind of see what's possible for me to crochet in a normal work day since that's typically not what I do. But for this video I think I'm going to take a little bit of a cozier approach, not so chaotic as the hour video. So not so much really timing myself to see how fast I can go and how much I can really fit in, but to see realistically how much can be crocheted in a work day, but not pushing myself to exhaustion. Because <laughs> although that might be fun to watch, then I have to recover the whole next day. You're probably wondering what am I going to be crocheting? And today I'm going to be making ice cream cones. This pattern is in my shop if you want to follow along and make some with me. But I thought this would be a fun pattern because there's no sewing required. It's all made in one piece. So I feel like I can crochet a good amount of these. And there's a lot of different options. So I'm going to be making several different flavors and fun colors, which will make for some variety for our day and not just making the same thing over and over. So I already have these two made. These do not count. I made these several weeks ago, but I made a funfetti one with a cherry on top and then this mint chocolate chip one. I've never timed myself making these ice cream cones. I would guess that each one is going to take me about an hour. So being realistic because I do want to eat today and I want to take care of myself today. I'm going to guess that I can make six of these. We'll see if I hit that goal or if I can make more. I'm kind of excited to see if I can beat that because it'll be good to know when I do start doing markets and knowing how much that I'm able to prep. So far, the flavors that I have today that I'd like to make are Rocky Road, Strawberry, like a blue birthday cake with this, with this parfait pom-pom yarn, a lavender one because I have a pretty lavender floral yarn, Neapolitan, pumpkin spice. If we have time I'd like to make a rainbow one. So like starting from the top and coming down as colors of the rainbow because I think that would be really pretty. I will be using Parfait Chunky yarn for this project. It's a size 6 super bulky yarn and I'll link it in the description as well. And I'm using a 5 millimeter crochet hook with this. I hope that I have enough yarn for this. I have three of these skeins for the cone color and then obviously I'll have enough for the actual ice cream part because I'm doing those all different colors. So if we run out then we might be making some different Different colored cones too. It's almost 9am but before we jump into crocheting I wanted to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video which is Skillshare. If you're not familiar with Skillshare it's an online learning platform that offers thousands of creative and fun classes. It's a great place to learn something new, get inspired, and actually utilize what you learn. It offers a community of creatives and teachers that share the same goal as you. There are so many different topics to choose from like crochet, knitting, digital art, photography, and so much more. You can even learn how to start your own creative business with their entrepreneurship classes. I actually joined Skillshare back in 2021 as a teacher, but I've also been able to utilize many of their classes to run my business, learn more about marketing and organizational skills. And if you didn't already know this, I actually offer my Learn How to Crochet Amigurumi course on Skillshare. It teaches you from the very beginning how to crochet well, with over 40 videos teaching you how to crochet your own plushies, how to read crochet patterns, and more. There are in-depth tutorials for basic stitches, more advanced stitches, and tutorials for how to make three different plushies. So if you want to unlock your creativity and learn something new, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And after that, 40% off your first year of Skillshare membership. You really won't regret checking it out and seeing just how many different things you can learn on their platform. 
Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you in advance to all of you for checking them out and helping to support my channel through sponsors like these. So once again, the link to sign up is in my description and let's jump back into the video. All right, I have the pattern printed out. We're going old fashioned here. I'm gonna set it up right in front and I figured that we would start with strawberry. And yes, this is a tangled mess. If you remember my crocheting for an hour, untangling was my biggest deterrent. So we're not starting off strong. <laughs> so I have my cone color and ice cream we're gonna start with the cone it's actually 902 so let's jump in for this first ice cream cone I actually am gonna time myself so I have a stopwatch going right in front of me and that will give us a good idea of how many I'll be able to get done today once again we're not rushing but I do want to know how long these take to make just for fun I finished the cone and guess what? It only took me 18 minutes. I'm honestly surprised that it didn't take that long. And the ice cream part is a little bit more involved than the cone. These take less than an hour to make, which is really exciting because that means that we'll probably surpass our goal of six plushies. I'm surprised, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's move on to the ice cream. I obviously stopped my timer right now while I'm talking, but I'm gonna start it again once I start the pink. As predicted, tangling is an issue with this yarn. So we're not going as quickly as we could, but that's okay. This is how far we are in our ice cream cone. We're actually almost done, uh, but I'm going to insert the safety eyes and stuff it. Let me start my timer again so that we're not cheating. <laughs> I'm using these safety eyes, they're 16 millimeter. And I like them because I feel like they're a good size but obviously it depends on what type of yarn you'll be using. But I'll link the safety eyes in the description as well. Of course, these safety eyes don't wanna go in. Does that look right? I think it does. I hope the backs will wanna go on. Yes, success. <laughs> All right, our eyes are in, now let's stuff it. I'm using polyfill, fiber fill stuffing, which is my favorite. There we are so far. And let's continue. My hook ran away. Here's our first ice cream cone, a tasty strawberry cone. I haven't done the mouth yet. I'm actually going to wait until I finish all of them and then do the mouth because I like to weave them in with a black medium yarn and then put a little dab of glue at the bottom. And I don't wanna keep getting the glue out. So that's why I'm gonna wait and do that at the end. But this little gal only took us about 42 minutes. I'm pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I was kind of rushing because I was timing myself. It's hard not to when the timer is going on just like right in front of you. So for the other ones, I'm anticipating that they'll take about an hour, but it is exciting to know that I can make one of these in less than an hour. So my hands are starting to cramp a little bit and we're only on plushie number one, <laughs> but I'm gonna take a quick break and get a snack, stretch a little bit, and then we'll move on to our next one. I made some tea, had a snack, the sun came out, and I had an idea. I think I'm gonna make a bunch of cones, like in bulk, and then I'll do the ice cream, you know, like one after the other. I feel like that'll be quicker because I'll be making the same thing kind of over and over. So I feel like my hands will get used to it. So I'm going to make a bunch of cones and then I'll be back and we'll see how long it takes me. <laughs> I made six of the ice cream cones. It took me like a little over two hours. So it's like around 12, 15 right now. And I was able to make about six and a half cones out of two skeins of yarn, which is a lot more than I thought I would get. So that's kind of exciting. And thankfully I had some scraps of this color. So I didn't even have to open up the third one that I had. So that's nice that I didn't use up all of my toffee color because I use this a lot as you can see. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make my next ice cream and then I'm gonna take a little break for lunch since it is already afternoon, but I'm hoping that it doesn't take me that long to make the next one. The next ice cream cone that I'm going to make is Rocky Road. I'm going to be using this brown color. It's called Teddy Bear, and I'm going to weave in little chocolate chips with this. It looks black on screen, but it's like a dark brown. It's called Espresso, and I'm really excited for this one, so let's jump in. Is 
time to put our safety eyes in. Try to find ones this time that aren't messed up. <laughs> and I have it written in the pattern like where the eyes go, but I feel like I put these ones a little bit too far apart. So I put this one just like one closer. Okay. And let's stuff it now too. For these ice cream cones, I feel like stuffing is like the most important part of it because if you don't put enough stuffing in each layer around, then it doesn't really give it that like ice cream layered look. I'm going to finish the top and I'll show you how I weave in the yarn to make the chocolate chips. Here's our little chocolate cone, looking cute. Once again, I'm gonna add all the mouths at the end, uh, but I'm going to make the chocolate chips to make him a little bit Rocky Road. I know Rocky Road has other stuff in it. Does it have marshmallows and maybe nuts? Maybe this will just be like a chocolate chocolate chip. <laughs> so I'm taking a tapestry needle and this espresso colored yarn. And basically I'm just going to weave it in throughout different spots. And I'm going to weave in each chocolate chip like three times just to make them big enough so that you can see them. So there is the first chocolate chip. And then I'm just going to go back in and go to another just random spot on the ice cream cone to create the next chocolate chip. And there's our second finished ice cream cone. I really love how this turned out. This might be my favorite so far. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next one. I think I want to do this blue kind of funfetti looking one. So I am going to eat a quick lunch first and then I'm going to finish this because it is already one o'clock. <laughs> I said that the last one was my favorite. I think this one might be my favorite. Just look at those colors. So I had lunch, I made this little guy and it's a little bit after two already so i need to crack down on these because i think i have a goal of making seven and i've only made three so far and we're already more than halfway through the day but i already do have the cones made for the other ones so it makes sense where we are in our schedule so i have four more cones i am going to make a pumpkin spice one since it's october and I want to make like a lavender lemon one with a floral yarn that I have. And then I want to make a Neapolitan one. And then the last one, I want to do a rainbow one. So I really hope I can get this all done before five because the rainbow one will take a little bit longer. So I'm going to go get cozy on the couch and I'm going to make these two, the pumpkin spice and the lavender lemon one. And then I'll be back to check in. I'm back. I was kind of on a roll. <laughs> so I did the pumpkin spice. I used this like light orange color from Premiere. It's called Shell, I believe. And then I weaved in just like some cinnamon pumpkin spice goodness, you know? And then I made the lavender lemon one. And this was with Bloom Chenille yarn. So it's a floral yarn. And I just thought it would look so pretty. And I really love how it turned out. And then I said that that was the only two that I was making, but you know what? I was sitting on the couch. I was watching New Moon. I was just kind of in the groove and I made the Neapolitan one. I said this so many times, but I think this one is my favorite one so far. So I did the strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream. And I just, I love it. I love the layers. So it's just after four and I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting tired. My hands are starting to hurt. People who do this all the time, props to you. I don't know how you do this. But so far, I have six ice cream cones made and then one just cone. With the time we have left, I think I have time to make one more and then put all of the mouths on because I haven't done that yet. So for this last one, I want to do a rainbow one and I want it to be kind of like rainbow sherbet. These are the colors I'm going to be using and I think I'm going to start with the red on the bottom. Oh no. I think I'll start with the purple on the bottom. <laughs> and I figured it out, there's about 18 rounds on the ice cream top. So if I have six colors, then I'll do three rounds of each color. So let's jump in and make it. I 
love it. Oh, it turned out so well. I just love these pastel yarn colors. They just always look so pretty. Now we have made seven ice cream cones, which is wild to me. And we're going to add all the smiles on and then I think we'll be done because it's almost 4.30 now. So we'll definitely be at time once we get these smiles done. And just like that, it's 4.47. So I think I'm gonna call it because I can't really make anything in 10 minutes. I'm really happy with what we got done. I made seven plushies. So I guess that answers the question, how much can I crochet in a normal work day? And it's about seven plushies. If I was to really rush, then I could probably make like eight or nine, but I'm definitely happy with this. And I'm glad that I left doing all the mouths till the end. I feel like that saved me time and also making all of the cones in bulk. If you're trying to make a lot of plushies or make something for a market, then I would definitely recommend making it in an assembly line instead of just doing like one plushy after the other, because that definitely helped me crochet a little bit faster. There's all seven of our ice cream cones. This was a fun challenge. I don't know if I'll do it again. My hands are very tired. Although if I do decide to do a holiday market, then I'll probably do this again, just so that I can push myself to make a lot of plushies. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you'd like to see what I'm making next and lots of other fun, give me a follow over on my Instagram. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Thank you.